Hello everyone, welcome to a coin video. If this is our first time meeting, my name is Jonathan, the coin collector, and my channel is all about enabling beginner, intermediate, and expert collectors with coin collecting tip videos and also coin entertainment videos to enable you to keep on collecting. So, today's video is all about the best way to find coins as a beginner coin collector. So this is the very first thing you should do whenever you start coin collecting. I know that I made a video previously about going to the bank and getting some rolls, but you need to do this before you do that. So you need this. Most of you guys, you may even have this same jar actually, now that I think about it. It's a pretty common design, or at least something that looks like this. But you need to get all of the change in your house. This is the best option, so either your pocket change or one of your relatives' pocket change, and you need to go through that. It would take me too long to go through each of these coins on camera and tell you guys what each of them are, so I went ahead and started making a list. But before we get into that part of the video, I will say, specifically for the 1982 penny, okay? As a beginner, you may not know this, but 1982 is probably the most confusing year for pennies because they they changed the date size, so they changed how big the date was. They also changed how it was made. It used to be mostly copper, and now it is mostly zinc, and it's just coated in copper. So you can't you can tell about the date. You can tell the date size just by looking at it, but you cannot tell if it's copper or zinc just by looking at it since you have to weigh it. So I would recommend getting a scale uh, after you get a ton of these. So just save these, put them in a Ziploc bag somewhere, but definitely keep them aside and get a scale like this. Then you can weigh it and see what it is. And let's go and just see what this is. I believe I can remember what the weights are. So you're gonna wanna turn it on, you're gonna wanna press that, and then you're gonna set it down. And I believe this is copper because I think it weighs more. So I think that's correct. So you could put this one, if it is copper, in the copper slot. But definitely just keep those aside whenever you come across those until you can afford one of these scales, which I will link to in the description below. Okay, so once I started to look through uh, all of them, and I started to write them down, okay? That's a, uh, I didn't do all of it, obviously. But it's good. it would be a long list. I only went through about that many pennies just if, just because there's a lot of different types, especially on the pennies. So I have a quicker way for you. You can either get the coin folders, uh, the ones by Whitman or H.E. Harris and Co. And I will have those linked in the description below with other supplies that I use. Or you can email me at coininfoemail at gmail.com and I will send you some documents that have all of the years listed on to the documents every year. So for the Lincoln Sense, for example, it'll have uh, the Denver, Philadelphia, and sometimes the San Francisco if it wasn't made to buy from the Mint, like if it was made for circulation. And on the state quarters, it'll have both the Philadelphia and Denver ones of each state and it even includes the American innovation dollar which is new and I know that you're supposed to directly buy those from the mint but I did include it as well and I'll go ahead and show photos of these so that you guys can kind of see what you're gonna get and it's all completely free the only thing I ask is that if you do download it please help me to support the channel by subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up just because uh, since I'm providing that for free, I am not actually getting anything from it. So I just ask that you do that if you would be able to. If you are interested in coins, it would help you out anyway because I do a lot of tips. And most likely you are a beginner if you're watching this. You can be more of an expert. I would just appreciate if you did subscribe. But I did want to show you guys some of the coins that were within that jar of coins. So obviously there's a lot of this. There's a 1965, uh, 1997, 1969S. There's some really really good ones as well like look how shiny that sucker is really good really nice right there so you can find extremely extremely good condition coins and most people think you can't find you know old coins in in you know circulation like that well I beg to differ because that's how I found a lot of mine this is a 1966 dime this, that's just really beat up. You'll find some like this, by the way. This is a really new, uh, I think it's a 2018D. But you can find, like, 1950s. This is a 1953. And then also new, a 2016D. 
Um, another old one. I picked some of the old ones out just to show you. That's a 1941D, uh, 1963 D. And a few other old nickels and dimes as well. And then you can also find different types of quarters. So you can find Eagle quarters. I actually found, I think, my whole entire Eagle uh, or Washington quarters, my, excuse me, Washington quarters uh, by going through circulation. And I did roll hunt, which does help, but that technically is circulation because you're getting them. You can find like American Samoa. Some people think that it's really difficult to find the 2009s. Um, because it is, but you can find them. I found all of them in circulation except for Guam from Philadelphia, which I had to buy online for like 35 cents. And I think shipping was free. Very weird deal, but I have it. And so, yeah, this one's from Philadelphia. It's American Samoa. And then we also have some of the new ones. So some of the America, the beautiful quarters. This is a 2014 great sand dunes one from Denver. And you can find all these coins in circulation. Whether that be going through a piggy bank, which is what this video is all about. And yeah, like it's, you can find a lot of old coins. I found silver going through pocket change. I found wheat pennies. I actually, I used to work at a fast food restaurant. And whenever, whenever I was on drive through I would always ask the manager who was there if it was okay for me to switch out coins. They trusted me. Uh, I was a great employee there uh, for two years. And they really trusted me with it. So they didn't care so I would just bring some pocket change and even dollars because I found an old 20 a 10 a, even a, a 1977 100 dollar bill uh, there that I traded out I didn't have the money on hand I asked the general manager to hold it overnight and she did and I traded it out the very next day but I'm just gonna like all that to say that I found mercury dimes I found old quarters I found old nickels there so you can find stuff in pocket change and this was stuff that people were paying with so old hundreds old 20s old 10s old fives old ones um, all pocket change basically so you can definitely find stuff just by going through a piggy bank and I would try to do as many in your house as possible before you move on to going to the bank and that type of thing because I did this thing for years and I would ask for my parents for pocket change mainly because I didn't know you can go to the bank and get boxes of coins but that's also because I was 12, so that kind of explains why I didn't know. I didn't. I wasn't too familiar with the banking world. If you did enjoy this, go ahead and hit subscribe, though, like it, and hit the bell to be notified. And I'll even go ahead and tell you the next video I'm posting, which is on Friday, if you're watching this the day this came out. Today's a Wednesday. But the next video that I'm going to post is a video where someone sends me more coins for my typeset collection. So definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I post that video. And also, go and check out my other videos if you're a beginner. I'll link to my playlist that I have created for beginners of other tips videos that I've made, like this one, in the description below and also at the end of this video. So if you just wanna wait for the end, you can definitely just do that and click on it at the end. And it's also in the YouTube card, if I remember to put it in there, which I normally do. But that is pretty much the end of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope this helped you out in your journey for coin collecting. If this sparked your journey for coin collecting, let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, keep on collecting.